in the last video, we talked a little bit about the immune system. And in that video, we focused on the nonspecific or the innate immune system. So let me write that. Non specific non-specific immune system and even in the non-specific immune system we subdivided that into kind of the first line kind of barriers and those were things like the skin or the stomach acid or uh, the the acidity of of the oils on the outside of your skin these are just natural barriers to not allowing things inside of your body but then once they get in so you could almost imagine these were the first line first line of defense and then you had your second line of defense but these are still non-specific and when we say non-specific it means that they don't necessarily know what type of virus what type of protein what type of bacteria they just know that this thing looks shady let me eat it up let me kill it let me have an inflammatory response so in there we said well there's an inflammatory response which I'm actually going to do I'm going to talk about after we do Video, videos on the specific immune system. You have your inflammatory response, which really just gets things to where the action is at. And then you also have your phagocytes. Phagocytes, which are these things, these cells that are engulfing things. Phagocytes. And just so you know, all the phagocytes that we talked about in the last video, these are all instances of white blood cells or leukocytes. So these are all, maybe I'll write that in white. These phagocytes right here, these are all, you know, when I talk about dendritic cells and, and, and macrophages and neutrophils, these were all white blood cells. These weren't all the kinds of white blood cells we're about to talk about more. And sometimes the other word for white blood cell is also leukocyte. Leukocyte. So that is non-specific. It just said, well, one, it just doesn't let you in. But then when you're in, it says, hey, you're just shady. I'm going to eat you up. I have receptors. You have some double-stranded DNA floating around. Only viruses have double-stranded DNA. I'm going to eat you up. I don't know what type of virus you are. I don't know if I've seen you before or not. That's why it's non-specific. Now, the really interesting thing about our immune system, and 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 this non-specific, this is this is kind of a, a this exists across many, many, many species and 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 types of organisms but the specific the specific is kind of a it's it's thought to be a newer adaptation what i'm going to talk about is the, the specific immune system that's particular to humans so you have the specific you have your specific immune system that's our other classification let me do it like let me do it like that so then you have your specific specific or you can imagine it's an adaptive immune system so and yeah, I think you've you, you've probably heard of things like that. Oh, I have I have a, a resistance to uh, that that uh, bacteria or that virus. So this is adaptive, and it's really all based on having exposure to things. And I'm gonna and you know within within the specific immune system, we talked a little some of when we talked about the antigen presenting uh, uh, molecules that the phagocytes do, that plays a role in this. We're going to go into more detail, but I don't want to confuse you. But the main actors here are called the lymphocytes, not to be confused with leukocytes, because they still are leukocytes. So let me write this down. Lymphocytes. So these are the main actors. Lymphocytes. Lymphocytes, and I want—I don't want to, you know, these are specific. Phagocytes, for the most part, are non-specific, but both of these are all white blood cells. Lymphocytes are another type of white blood cell or a leukocyte. Don't want to confuse you with, you know, this convoluted diagram. But I just want to make the terminology clear. When someone talks about a white blood cell, they're really just talking about a set of cells that, when people first tried to separate the components of blood, you'd have your red blood cells that would kind of settle in the bottom. Then you'd have this layer of white, frothy stuff in the middle that was really made of white blood cells. And then on the top, you had the fluid, the plasma uh, from your blood, the kind of the watery part. So that's where the name came from. But they have different roles, but they interact with each other. Now, lymphocytes can be divided into B lymphocytes, B lymphocytes, usually referred to as B cells, and T lymphocytes. And you say, wait, you know, where do those words B and T? T lymphocytes. 
And the B and T just come from where they're developed. B lymphocytes were first recognized in the, in, in the bursa of Fabricius. That's what it's called B. That's actually a part of birds that participate in the immune system. And so the B came from bursa. But B also applies to the humu- human immune system because it's produced in bone marrow. So that might be an easier way to remember. It's produced in bone marrow. It's developed in bone marrow. Bone marrow, but historically the B came from the bursa of Fabricius, just in case you want to know. But it's easy to remember that B could also stand for bone marrow, because that's where it produced. T lymphocytes actually do start off in the bone marrow, but they mature and become what they what they are in the thymus. So that's where the T comes from. T for thymus. Now in this video, I'm going to focus just on the B lymphocytes, because frankly, if I focused on everything, it would be an hour-long video. But the B lymphocytes, frankly, on some level, uh, well, I, I don't want to I don't want to pick and choose favorites, but for something in my brain, I just really like the B lymphocytes. So the B lymphocytes participate in what's called the humoral response. Humoral, and I'll tell you what humoral means in a second. Humoral doesn't mean it's funny. Humoral response. Humoral response, and you'll see that T lymphocytes participate in what's called the cell-mediated response. And we're going to do that in a future video. Cell-mediated response. And they actually do uh, a certain classes of T lymphocytes. We'll see that there are helper, there are helper T cells, and there are cytotoxic T cells. I know it's all very confusing the first time you see it, but that's why I just want to focus on just this part right here. We're going to see in the future that the helper T cells play a role in amplifying and really activating this humoral response. But a simple way to think about the difference between the humoral response and the cell-mediated response is, when I get infected, let's say I get infected by a virus, right? Let's say, you know, these are let's say that's my body cell and that's my body cell. At first, when a virus comes into my system, it's just floating around in the fluids in my system. And that when the fluids of our system, that's really what humoral responds to, into the, into the uh, uh, humoral fluids of your body. So you have your viruses. Let me do it in a different car- color. You know, these are little viruses floating around. So while they're floating around and they're not sitting inside of cells, when they're not sitting inside of cells, that's where the humoral response can come into play. Same thing if we have little bacteria floating around, and they haven't infiltrated cells yet. They're just floating around in the fluid. Then the humoral response will be, can, can be useful for that. Now, if all of a sudden these guys have infiltrated cells, if they've infiltrated cells, so if the cells are now infected with the virus and they're producing, the virus is using the, the mechanisms of the cell to produce more, then all of a sudden we have to be a little bit more sophisticated in, in how we deal with these cells and how we deal with the viruses. Because they're not just going to be floating around anymore. We probably want to just kill this cell, even though it was one of our, our own, but now it's helping to make viruses. Or maybe it's been colonized by bacteria. So in either case, you want to kill this. And that we'll talk more about that in the